Well, hello and welcome back, and thank you for coming back today. Well, we're in downtown Cato Papos, that's for sure. We're going to take you along what's known as the Pasidonis Avenue, which is the road with all the hotels, basically. So the Hotels Avenue. And we're going to start off with the last hotel and work our way all the way down. Then we're going to get to the Cato Papos Harbour, and then we're going to dismount and give you a great, great view. But before we start, the person in charge of the boat, well, Miss Archie Ingress, Sylvia LaBeouf. Hello, everybody. Hello, how nice to see you again and again. Don't worry, Mr. Paul. <laughs> I come to all. There we are. There was a slight uh, misalignment on the steering wheel there. Anyway, <laughs> she was very busy saying again and again. again. So stick with us as we start our trek down the Hotels Avenue, which in Greek is the Pasidonis Avenue. Here we go. So the first hotel coming up on our left hand side, that's this big boy here. This is the Louis Phaeton Beach Hotel. It's a four star luxury hotel. It's got a little water park. It's got everything you can possibly want in a hotel. It's very child friendly. It's got a pirate ship, which if you go hunting back, you'll find Miss, Miss Oching Rasegula Blue Booth being a pirate with me chasing her around. Now, here comes up the next great hotel. Now you're gonna have to wait through to get to the hotels because there's an awful lot of hotels to remember. And this one is the Pioneer Beach Hotel. Again, a very luxurious four star, very, very child friendly hotel. And just so you understand, all these hotels here open their rear door straight onto the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. Most of them have their own public beaches. Some are rocky, some are sandy. Anyway, there it is, there's that one. We've been in there once or twice. They haven't thrown us out yet. The next one in the same group is called the Asimina Asimina Hotel Suites. There it is. Another great hotel, family friendly. And then one of our favourite hotels, this one here. This is the Aqua Mari Hotel. Four star luxury beach hotel with spa. Walk through that foyer and you're straight out onto the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. The next hotel, well, this one is for adults only. And this one is called the Ivor Mari Hotel. We have been thrown out of that hotel, or shall I say, asked to leave due to COVID restrictions. One of these days we're going to go back in there and make a great, great video for someone, that's for sure. Now this one. Because we're too young, yeah. That was the Leonardo Cipria Bay. Again, a great, great hotel in downtown Cato Paphos. And the next one along is in the same group. And this one is the Leonardo Plaza Cipria Maris Hotel. We've been in there once or twice. We've been thrown out once off camera, if you understand me. And then the next one is the Lewis Ledra Beach. That's what they know, well, it's known as a budget hotel. I don't like that word, but it's, should we say, not quite four star. But it's a nice hotel, again, with a lovely blue, blue beach on the back end of it. This one here is the Athena Beach Hotel, a very big hotel, very luxurious hotel. And we've been in there many, many times. And we've been accosted live on camera in there by uh, Mr. Nick and Miss Julia, who I hope is continuing to watch us during her lunch hour. So let's keep going. Miss Julia was lovely. She was a star, lovely. absolute star. There's the Athena Royal Beach Hotel. And I think it may have been that one we were in. I don't know, we get confused. But one of them's an adults only hotel, that's for sure. Now, just after this parade of shops on the left, if you turn to the left, you see a sign there, see Lewis Imperial Beach Hotel. Another great, great hotel down the back. This is a apartment complex, Anariti, Paphos Town. And then you've got a parade of shops coming up and in there is tea for two and someone asked the other day about the rib shack well guess what there's the rib shack there it is a very very busy always restaurant busy. indeed always packed out always always now the next hotel along well this one is one of the greatest hotels in the Paphos area and this one is known as the olympic lagoon resorts place look at that one of the greatest hotels in Paphos. And here we are now in downtown Cato, Paphos. You can see the beautiful glowing sun in the distance there. And that tells you that's the harbor area. Forgive the road surface. This is a little bit, well, Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes, that's for sure. Receive your booth. Yes, that roads unfortunately hasn't been done for a long time. But we hope that in the nearest future, we're gonna have a surface that roads like a mirror. Like a mirror, yeah. Very nicely put by Grisigo Le Booth. Now, the next part we're coming up to now, this is the municipality car park. In this one, I've told you before, please make sure you pay. And then down there is the Anesthesia Beach Bar in the theme of a ship right on the beachfront. This hotel we attacked the other day, and it 
was a great, great hotel indeed, that was for sure. And uh, it's called the... I'm waiting to say what it's called. What's it called? <laughs> I like! <laughs> um, I've gone totally blank, yeah, so you can tell it's right. It's called Even the Eva Mari Hotel. Way in. Yeah, way in. And then there's Stavros, which means we are outside Alexander the Great Hotel. Again, a great, great hotel. A favourite hotel of two of our superstars. The great oh oh so so sweet Caroline and her man, the man with the biggest guns in the world, Mr. Nigel Carter. And they have a superstar young lady granddaughter who's one of our favourite, favourite people in the whole world. And her name is Miss Ellie. Hopefully, Miss Ellie, your bracelet's still in one piece and hopefully you are still challenged. Anyway, here we are. That is the Almira. That's another five-star hotel. We stormed that the other night and met the manager on camera and he's an absolute star. Great, great hotel indeed. And now we're in the shopping area, shall we say, of upper to lower Cato Paphos. And the next hotel and the final hotel coming up on our left-hand side. You can probably just see it in lights there. There it is, that's the Annabelle Five Star Luxury Hotel. So, that's the countdown of all the hotels. There are hotels over that side. In fact, there's one coming up now to the rear of the La Royal restaurant here on the front. You can see a raised building to the rear of that, and that is the Dionysus Hotel. And again, that's a very, very nice hotel. Again, referred to as budget. It shouldn't be referred to budget because it's a very nice hotel indeed. Now, stick with us because this is downtown Cato Paphos, and as you can see, the foot traffic is ramping up, and that's because the promenade area at night time is now locked down. So, there's no traffic in cars, only crazies on scooters. We're responsible for some of that as well, and a lot of people walking along. Have a look at that. And we're going to go down these back streets, as I call them. Uh, there's some nice parts, there's some not so nice parts. There are some nice gift shops and there are some nice bars. But again, forgive the scruffiness. Some of it's happened because of COVID-19 and some of it was there before. But slowly but surely, as you can see, if you look to the right hand side, they are refurbing a building. In front of us, they are rebuilding a building. And right in front of us now, what was should we say a budget hotel is no longer they're knocking seven bells out of that and that's going to be a bunch of luxury apartments and as we come round to this corner if you look down there you can see the blue 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 mediterranean sea so proceed your booth take us out to the harbor yes i'm taking you to what to the harbor oh. i thought you're saying take us out of the out of the harbour, there we are. Slight misconfusion in the brain of Christina LaBeouf. Remember, she does speak seven languages, and sometimes I speak a little bit too fast, shall we say. Yes, of course, I'm taking you there. Yeah. What about this area, by the way? Well, this area is the rear of the promenade, full of all sorts of interesting shops from our Gumbaro Marius and his sister Faye. They've got a, a cava shop kiosk shop and they specialize in selling upmarket wines and various vodkas and cognacs and gins and all that kind of stuff so if you want something special alcoholic as a drink that's where you'd go and that's by the Papa Antonio supermarket and across to the old Debenhams anyway stick with us because here we are we have arrived at the end of the promenade area and as you can see there's some big boats and some small boats which means we are entering the downtown Cato Paphos Harbour area. As we officially christen it, that is the wood kiosk, and we say that that is the last building on the promenade. So that means now this is the harbour area. There's the car park to the right, which has been extended recently. And for people who are interested, at the moment, the bus stop is to the rear. The bus station, I should say, is to the rear of that car park, but that's not going to be for very long because the bus station is actually going to be relocated to Tomb of the Kings. That's what's actually happening. My Gumbaru, the mayor, has informed me, obviously I don't know him at all, but he has informed me that the bus station is going to be relocated and taken to between T for Two and Tramps Restaurant, and that's going to be the new bus terminal, and then what was over there is going to be a bigger and bigger car park, which actually makes a bit of sense because the harbour, to be honest, needs more car parking. Talking about car parking, here we are, to the rear of all the harbour restaurants, and this is a massive car park. All right, it's a bit of waste ground, but it's good enough to park cars on, that's for sure. 
So I'm there, a bit of confusion, lost. He's wondering where the hell he's going. Never mind. You can't go much further along here, mate. Right, get to the end, receive your booth. I'm going to dismount, you're going to park up, and I'm going to go and show the people the beauty and the spectacality of the Cato Paphos coastline. And we're going to watch as the sun vanishes to the rear of the Paphos castle. The sea looks absolutely beautiful on the camera, and I'm going to take you a bit closer, and you're going to get a great, great view. That is for sure. So stick with us, that view's going to come up, and Grisivio Labouf is going to come running after us, I'm sure. Is that all right? Yes. Yes. Right. Come on, Grisivio Labouf. Let's dismount and let's go and have a look at the great, great, beautiful blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. The glasses, as is traditional, start to because the humidity is very, very high indeed. Let's wait for Grisivio Labouf. Wow. She looks absolutely stunning tonight, that's for sure. Right, come on, a couple of more minutes and we're going to show you a great, great view and we're going to see the beautiful goldness of the sun as you can see over there. That's glistening in the sky and it's a great, great spectacle. It's one of the beautiful things about downtown Cato Paphos. You've got a beautiful view out to the blue, blue sea. You've got the beauty of the harbour area. You've got a beautiful walkway called the Lighthouse Walk which takes you to the rear of the Elysium Hotel. It's about 30 minutes on foot. so. Make sure you've got a bottle of water at this time of year, but you get to watch the glow of the sun as it goes down. So bear with us as we come round and show you the beauty and the spectacality of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. If we're very, very lucky, the such a receiver booth may even go on the Chuchukka rock. What do you think? Of course, right. So stick with us as we follow the rear end of receiver booth, and she is going to go mount the Chuchukka rock give us a wiggle of her rear end and then we're going to show you that beautiful beautiful blue 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 Mediterranean Sea. Forgive the surface we're walking on we have to be very careful as you can see this is thousands and thousands of years of well battering and then a man with a JCB putting rocks to try and protect the Paphos coastline. Up we go Grisivio Labouf. There we go let's follow the rear end as she gets into position And there we go. That is the dancing Chachotchka rock for sure. Our musical one. Hello, everybody. Don't forget to click and subscribe. It's me dancing again for all of you with all our great love. Me and you. Don't ask about the rear end. She's not going to give us the wiggle of the rear end today, that's for sure. Anyway, let me show Will you change? the beauty and the beauty and the beauty and the spectacality of the Blue Blue Mediterranean Sea. Stick with us, here it comes, have a look at that. Wow. Look at that beautiful, beautiful golden glow. The last glimpse of the rays off the magic called the sun, which makes Paphos that spectacular love island. As I come round, there it is. And that sun is setting out across the Florica coastline to the rear of the Elysium Hotel. And it's a great, great spectacle indeed as is that you have to come closer i'll have to come closer yes. she wants to kill me there we go <laughs> no no way well uh i would like to thank you very 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 much for watching us and many thanks for your time uh support all your replies are wonderful we loving you to bits and come to see another of our nice madnesses and goodbye all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching and if you do like what you see please hit that like click subscribe and come back for a little bit more of our madness i will leave you with a view and then pan around into the harbor and finish on misochi recivia labu thanks for watching here we go Thanks for watching.